Theodosia Theodosia Burr Alston was the oldest child of disgraced U.S. Vice President Aaron Burr. She was also the wife of South Carolina Governor Joseph Alston. Five years after her father had been formally accused of treason, Theodosia's son died. So deep was her grief that she sank into poor physical health. A bright spot in her life was that her father would be allowed to return home from exile in Europe, something for which he had lobbied US Treasury Secretary Albert Gallatin and Dolly Madison, wife of US President James Madison. On New Year's Eve 1812, Theodosia boarded a schooner called Patriot. Its intended destination was New York, where she was to be reunited with her father. Her husband, recently sworn in as governor, was not able to accompany her because of his duties surrounding the War of 1812, which had broken out around the same time as their son's death. The schooner never reached its destination. Some have theorized that the vessel was captured by pirates. However, most historians seem to suggest that the Patriots sank as a result of a major storm that was documented in the region at the time. Henry Hudson Henry Hudson was an English explorer whose adventures found him sailing through waters in what are now the US states of New York and Massachusetts and the Canadian provinces of Nova Scotia, Newfoundland and Labrador. Several geographical features were named after him including the Hudson River of New York and New Jersey, the Hudson Bay and the Hudson Strait of Canada. Hudson took his ship, the Discovery, on a hunt for the Northwest Passage in 1610. The following year, in 1611, the search was still ongoing and much of the crew were so restless that they ultimately staged a rebellion. Hudson, along with his son and seven other crew members, were left in a small boat in what is now the Hudson Bay. The discovery eventually left them behind. Later, efforts by others to locate the marooned men were unsuccessful. Henrik Muller Henrik Muller can easily be considered among the most reprehensible people of the 20th century, if not all time. In 1933, he joined the Gestapo, Nazi Germany State Police. He moved up the ranks, becoming Gestapo chief and formally joining the Nazi party in 1939. Muller's acts as chief included helping to spread the false information that was used to justify the invasion of Poland and carrying out the Holocaust. The last confirmed sighting of Muller was at the beginning of May 1945. His whereabouts afterwards have been a long-standing mystery. Many believe that he died around that time. Others, however, believe that he possibly got away. The CIA conducted extensive searches for Muller and floated the possibility that he was being sheltered by the Soviet Union. Harold Holt Harold Holt was a noted Australian politician. After serving in a number of cabinet positions, he became the leader of the Liberal Party of Australia, which is actually the country's main conservative party. And he also became Prime Minister in early 1966 after the retirement of Robert Menzies. Later that year, Holt led the Liberal Party and the Australian Country Party, now known as the National Party of Australia, its coalition partner, to a dominant federal election victory. In late 1967, Holt went swimming at one of his favourite spots and unfortunately, he didn't return. A major search and rescue operation commenced, but he was never found. No formal inquiry by the federal government into the disappearance was ever conducted. And to this day, no one knows what happened to Harold Holt. So that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Until the next video, goodbye.